Do your creatinine levels remain high all the time? Or are you looking for ways to lower them naturally without any medications? If so, you have found the right video. Creatinine is basically a waste product formed during the normal breakdown of proteins and muscles in the body. During healthy kidney function, it is removed efficiently from the body through urine. However, when kidneys do not work properly, creatinine levels can rise, indicating kidney damage or kidney disease. And you might be surprised to know that eating seemingly ordinary fruit like watermelon can help you lower creatinine levels naturally. But this is not the only one food that can help. In this video, let's learn about seven foods that can lower creatinine levels naturally. Let's begin. Number one, vegetables. On top of the list, we have vegetables. Vegetables can help you lower creatinine levels in several ways. Firstly, they are rich in antioxidants such as vitamin C, sulforaphane, and flavonoids. These antioxidants neutralize free radicals throughout your body, including kidneys. Free radicals are basically unstable molecules that react with stable or healthy cells and damage them. This causes oxidative stress and inflammation in the kidneys over time, which can result in degraded kidney function or kidney disease, the main cause of high creatinine levels. This is because when kidneys are functioning normally, they can efficiently remove excess creatinine from the body. But when they are damaged or their function is degraded, they cannot filter excess creatinine as a result of which creatinine levels rise in the body. So, eating antioxidant-rich foods can protect kidneys from inflammation and oxidative stress, maintain their healthy functioning, and lower high creatinine levels. Secondly, vegetables are rich in dietary fiber. This fiber helps in digestion and removes wastes, including creatinine, efficiently out of the body, reducing the workload on the kidneys. A review of studies in 2014 has suggested that fiber helped lower creatinine levels in chronic kidney disease patients. Thirdly, vegetables like spinach are high in potassium, which helps balance sodium levels and lower blood pressure. This can help heal your damaged kidneys and improve kidney health, as high blood pressure is a major risk factor for kidney disease. This is because high blood pressure can stress the kidneys or damage blood vessels throughout the body, resulting in reduced blood supply to the kidneys. So, by lowering BP, if the kidney's function improves, it will efficiently reduce creatinine levels and promote kidney healing. In fact, a study of 27 people has also found that eating spinach effectively lowers their blood pressure. Moreover, some vegetables like spinach, cabbage, beets, and radishes have nitrates. When you consume nitrate-rich vegetables, the body converts nitrates into nitric oxide, a molecule that plays an important role in dilating blood vessels, vasodilation. This improves blood circulation and better oxygen and nutrient supply throughout the body, including the kidneys. This will overall improve kidney function and lower creatinine levels. You can easily add these vegetables to your daily diet. For example, make a healthy salad bowl for lunch or dinner and eat it before your actual meal to help boost your metabolism. Make veggie soups, eat roasted vegetables, add vegetables to sandwiches, or blend them in smoothies. Vegetables contain approximately 25 to 35 calories per 100 grams. For example, spinach has 23 calories and kale has 33 calories, so they can be added to your diet easily without having a toll on your daily calorie limit. However, Remember that vegetables like spinach, kale, and carrots are high in potassium, which is not safe for kidney patients. This is because degraded kidneys have to work hard to remove excess potassium, which can stress them, and high levels of potassium can build up in the body, which can cause serious complications. For example, a cup of spinach contains 839 milligrams of potassium, and the daily allowed intake of potassium for kidney patients is less than 2,000 milligrams. So, eat these vegetables in moderation. Moreover, some vegetables like spinach also contain oxalates, which can cause kidney stones in susceptible individuals if eaten in excess. So, avoid pairing spinach with other high oxalate foods like beets, nuts, and chocolate if you are prone to kidney stones. 
Eating vegetables in the right way can help you lower creatinine levels naturally. Number two, whole grains. Whole grains also offer many benefits that can support your kidney health and lower creatinine levels. Firstly, whole grains like oats, brown rice, quinoa, and barley are high in dietary fiber. As mentioned earlier, fiber helps in digestion and removes waste products, including creatinine, from your body. Secondly, whole grains have a low glycemic index, which means they release sugar into the bloodstream slowly. This helps keep blood sugar levels stable and does not cause rapid spikes in blood sugar levels. Stable blood sugar is important because high blood sugar can cause kidney damage over time. So, by keeping blood sugar levels normal, whole grains help prevent your kidneys from damage and support their function, which lowers creatinine levels. Thirdly, whole grains contain antioxidants and anti-inflammatory compounds that help reduce inflammation throughout the body, including in the kidneys. As chronic inflammation can degrade kidney function and increase creatinine levels, so by reducing inflammation, whole grains help protect your kidneys. Moreover, whole grains are often more filling than refined grains, which helps control appetite and support healthy weight management. Maintaining a healthy weight is important for kidney health because excess weight can put extra stress on the kidneys, degrade their function, and cause higher creatinine levels. By helping you feel fuller longer and supporting weight management, whole grains support overall kidney health. You can add whole grains to your diet very easily. For example, you can start your day with a bowl of oatmeal, include brown rice or quinoa in your meals, or choose whole grain bread and snacks. These grains are nutritious and can be part of a balanced diet that supports kidney function and helps lower creatinine levels. However, if you have specific dietary needs or advanced kidney disease, consult with your healthcare provider before making changes to your diet. Number three, fruits. Fruits like blueberries, apples, pineapples, strawberries, cherries, grapes, and watermelon can help lower creatinine levels in several ways. Firstly, these fruits are rich in antioxidants. For example, blueberries contain anthocyanins, apples are rich in quercetin, strawberries provide vitamin C and ellagic acid, cherries have anthocyanins and vitamin C, and grapes, particularly red and purple varieties, are rich in resveratrol and flavonoids. Moreover, pineapples contain vitamin C and bromelain, while watermelon is high in lycopene and vitamin C. All of these antioxidants combat oxidative stress and inflammation, which are crucial for maintaining healthy kidneys. Secondly, some of these fruits are high in fiber. For example, apples are rich in soluble fiber, specifically pectin, which supports healthy digestion and helps eliminate waste products. Strawberries are also a good source of dietary fiber, which aids in digestion and supports kidney function. Additionally, these fruits are generally low in potassium, making them suitable for people with kidney disease. For instance, watermelon and blueberries have lower potassium levels, making them particularly kidney-friendly. So, adding a variety of these fruits to your diet can provide essential antioxidants, support healthy digestion with fiber, and help manage potassium levels, all of which contribute to maintaining healthy kidney function and lowering creatinine levels naturally. To improve your kidney health and manage creatinine levels, ensure that 25 to 30% of your diet consists of fruits. However, remember to choose fruits that are low in potassium and rich in antioxidants. Add a variety of fruits such as blueberries, apples, strawberries, and watermelon to your daily meals. You can add these fruits to your breakfast, snacks, smoothies, juices, and desserts to maximize their benefits. Moreover, be mindful of portion sizes to avoid excessive sugar and calorie intake and eat high potassium fruits like bananas, oranges, and avocados in moderation, particularly if you have specific kidney concerns. This will help you support kidney function and effectively manage creatinine levels. Number four, hydration foods. Proper hydration is crucial for maintaining good kidney health and managing creatinine levels because it helps the kidneys efficiently filter waste products 
including creatinine, from the blood. When you are well hydrated, your kidneys can produce more urine, which helps flush out excess creatinine and other toxins from your body. Foods that are high in water include cucumbers, watermelon, and oranges. Cucumbers are about 95% water, while watermelon is around 92% water. Adding these foods into your diet ensures that you are consuming a good amount of water, which supports kidney function. In addition to helping in waste removal, staying hydrated helps maintain the balance of electrolytes in your body. This balance is important because imbalances can put extra stress on the kidneys. By including hydration foods in your diet, you help manage electrolyte levels, reduce kidney strain, and promote effective filtration of creatinine. So, to lower your creatinine levels, add hydration foods to your daily diet. For example, you add cucumber slices to salads, enjoy watermelon as a refreshing snack, or have a glass of orange juice with your meals. This can be beneficial, particularly during hot weather or after physical activity. Additionally, while hydration foods contribute to your overall fluid intake, they should not be considered a substitute for water. It's important to complement these foods by drinking sufficient water throughout the day to maintain optimal hydration and support overall health. Number five, chia seeds. Chia seeds contain many essential nutrients for kidney health, including fiber, antioxidants, and omega-3 fatty acids. Their high fiber content supports digestive health and helps remove waste products, including creatinine, from the body more efficiently. The antioxidants in chia seeds help reduce inflammation and oxidative stress, which can protect your kidneys from damage. Additionally, the omega-3 fatty acids in chia seeds have been shown to support heart health by reducing triglycerides, lowering blood pressure, and improving cholesterol levels. Since high blood pressure is a risk factor for kidney disease, maintaining healthy blood pressure levels is crucial for kidney health. Moreover, unlike many other seeds, chia seeds are low in potassium, with just around 110 mg per ounce, 28 grams. This makes them a kidney-friendly option compared to seeds like pumpkin or flax, which have higher potassium levels. You can easily add chia seeds to your daily diet. For example, you can eat them raw, soaked in liquids like juice or yogurt, added to porridge, pudding, smoothies, or even used in baking. This ease of use makes it easy to benefit from their nutritional properties without much effort. However, consume chia seeds in moderation several times a week. This is because their excess intake can cause side effects such as digestive issues, allergic reactions, or weight gain. Number six, garlic. Garlic contains a powerful antioxidant and anti-inflammatory compound called allicin. Allicin is released when garlic is chopped or crushed. It helps protect the kidneys from damage caused by inflammation and oxidative stress and maintains healthier kidneys, allowing them to filter creatinine more effectively. Garlic also has a beneficial impact on cardiovascular health. It has been shown to lower blood pressure and improve cholesterol levels, both of which are crucial for kidney health. High blood pressure can strain the kidneys and worsen kidney function, causing higher creatinine levels. By helping to regulate blood pressure and improve circulation, garlic reduces this strain and supports the kidney's ability to remove waste products, including creatinine, from the body. Additionally, garlic may enhance the kidney's detoxifying processes. By promoting better blood flow and reducing the workload on the kidneys, garlic helps in the natural elimination of excess creatinine, helping to lower its levels in the bloodstream. You can easily add garlic into your diet, whether fresh, cooked, or in supplement form. It is an easy and effective way to support your kidneys and naturally lower creatinine levels while also benefiting your overall health. However, do not eat more than one or two cloves of garlic per day. This is because excessive consumption of garlic can show up side effects like bad breath, heartburn, gas, and diarrhea. Number seven, herbal teas. Herbal teas like dandelion, nettle, ginger, chamomile, hibiscus, and green tea can help you support kidney health and lower creatinine levels naturally. 
these teas have many important benefits for the kidneys. First, many of these teas, such as dandelion and nettle, have natural diuretic properties. This means they increase urine production. This increased urination helps the kidneys flush out excess creatinine and other waste products more efficiently and lower their levels in the body. This also reduces the burden on the kidneys and helps them to function more effectively. Secondly, these herbal teas are rich in antioxidants. Teas like green tea, ginger, and hibiscus are known for their high antioxidant content, which helps neutralize harmful free radicals throughout the body, including kidneys. As mentioned earlier, by reducing oxidative stress and inflammation, Antioxidants protect kidney cells from damage and support better overall kidney function. Additionally, several of these teas, such as chamomile and hibiscus, are known for their anti-inflammatory properties. Chronic inflammation can degrade kidney function and raise creatinine levels. So by reducing inflammation, these teas help maintain healthier kidneys. Chamomile also has calming effects that can reduce stress, which indirectly benefits kidney health. Moreover, Teas like hibiscus and green tea have been shown to help lower blood pressure, which is essential for kidney health. High blood pressure can strain the kidneys and worsen creatinine levels. So managing blood pressure, these teas contribute to the protection of kidney function. Adding these herbal teas into your routine provides a gentle, natural way to support your kidneys. You can easily add them to your daily diet. However, remember to drink them in moderation. Do not drink more than a cup or two of any of these teas per day. This is because excessively drinking teas can upset your stomach and cause sleep problems and headaches 